Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Souls 3. Uh, I made a friend and found out that another friend's friend was a dead friend. Oh, and oh, we haven't, we haven't actually even bothered to talk to this friend yet. Oh, our champion of Ash. Welcome home. This pilgrim, with a debt in death, hardly deserves to behold this divine flame. And I never would have, had you not taken me into your service. I thank you dearly for this, and assure you of my leal service. Ah, purchase items. Ah yes, you sell us some sorceries. Heavy soul arrow. We're not smart enough for that yet, but that sounds pretty useful. Magic shield, magic weapon. Okay. He sells us some sorceries. That's good. Good to know. We should get some of those. Not necessarily right now though, but... We have basic soul arrow, right? What Be is safe, champion of ash. Okay. The drawing out of the true strength is not a thing that we're gonna actually ever really do. Uh, hold on. Yeah, that's soul arrow, right? Can I see? Yeah. Yeah, we have soul arrow, pharaoh dart, and heal aid. Those are the ones that we have. A heavy soul arrow might be useful. Because heavy soul arrow might allow us to do more one-shotting. Now, let's, you know, just out of respect, take off the blue stone tear, uh, blue tear stone ring, because he asked us to deliver that. Oh, hello, you're back. And in one piece. Well, now it's time I do my part. Whatever trinket you need, speak up. Just don't ask me where I got them. <laughs> actually, what do you have for sale? I think you actually have quite a few interesting things. Hard leather armor, leather gauntlets, leather boots. It's a lot lighter than all the metal stuff that we're having and that we're wearing. Thief mask. It's kind of stylish in a shaggy way. Mace spear. Just a simple long sword or a bandit's knife. Rope fire bomb. Thrown behind. Explodes, expecting fire damage. Oh, this is for if you're being chased by something. That's pretty neat. Blood rest mask. Throwing knives. Standard bolts, fire arrows. Ah, very interesting. They do significantly more damage, but part of that damage is fire, which is both a good and a bad thing, depending on what you're fighting. Anyway. Heavens, she was already dead. Thank you. I'm not surprised, though. Almost a relief, really. You can keep the ring as, well, a little trinket of thanks, I suppose. <laughs> you can keep the ring as... <laughs> Poor guy. Well, good to remember. Also just a nice regular spear and Goodbye. such. Goodbye. And stay safe. Will do. Oh, this place is a ball. What good is thievery if you've nowhere to go? <laughs> mm. <laughs> ah. ah, well. Let's go talk to another friend. Oh, there you are, unkindled one. I wish to express my gratitude. 
for trusting a lowly pyromancer and allowing me to gaze upon this majestic flame. As promised, I will impart pyromancies to you. But first, you'll need a flame of your own. Yay! We got a pyromancy flame! Careful you don't burn yourself with it. <laughs> Let's see. So yeah, sells pyromancer equipment. You can also start with this equipment if you start as a pyromancer, which I opted not to do because uh, the knight has pretty good starting equipment and still a decent stat spread for what we had planned. But yeah. I want to learn pyromancies. See, fireball, great combustion, flash sweat. Well, let's just learn a basic fireball. Uh, how does great combustion work? Well, we should get we should get that one at least as a basic. And I want to reinforce the pyromancy flame. With some of our titanite shards. Should boost the damage slightly. Do we do well yeah we're we're gonna get enough titanite shards soon. Yeah. Do not be gone for long. What is a teacher without a pupil? <laughs> right. Then, in equipment, we unequipped the Sorcerer Staff. And we equipped the Pyromancer Flame. And now we can also just... Uh, you can just punch. <laughs> With that hand, but once we actually equip pyromancy. Ah, well met. What needs smithing this day? Uh, actually, I want to reinforce the Estus flask. I think. Did we pick up a thing for that? Yes. Yay! A lot Estus. Yes. We now have six drinkies. I also want to reinforce. And I want to reinforce this deep battle axe. I'm not wondering why. You, you, you want to use this broadsword for a bit, right? Yeah, I, I have a very specific purpose in mind for this axe. It will help us defeat the specific boss. I think getting 20 extra damage per swing might be worth it. Ah, we can save that for later. Once we actually go to the boss, we can save it for then. Pretty be careful. I don't want to see my work squandered. <laughs> you won't see your work squandered. We are going to, however, learn to chuck fireballs. Tune spell. Yay. Boom. I can chuck fireballs. I mean, it's definitely shorter range than uh, Soul Arrow, but still got a bit of range on it, and it deals more damage, I think, I believe. Where then? Uh, let's just Welcome talk to the Firekeeper. Speak thine heart's desire. Mine heart's desire Very is to well. level up a bit more. Then touch the darkness within me. Take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. Right. I want more intelligence. Ooh, getting a bit spicy. To level up those stats. Let's hold on a second. Farewell, Ashen One. We should ah, get a couple ah. of extra souls. 
I want to sell both of these. That's an extra 1600. No, I'm not selling that one. And I'm selling all of these. That's an extra 2000. Right, this should Action give us an extra level up. Welcome, have speak. Very well, then tut taken. Right. Let's get a bump up the intelligence a little bit. This will also give us extra sorceries. Okay. So we need... Right, if I sell another three... Then I can... Oh yeah, the Umbral Ash. Sure. Oh, actually, we probably also just have a bunch of weird guff here to sell. At the very least, you know, we should sell duplicates of things. Uh, no, no, no. We could also just sell a Ring of Sacrifice. of these shields would I actually ever use? East West Shield. This one just seems kind of bad. I don't know. Got any duplicates here? Nothing really worth the effort to sell right now. Could sell one of our one of our raw gems. Uh, it's just not really worth that much. Oh well, I'll sell another two of these. That should be enough for one more Ashen level up. One. Be sure. Welcome, us be Very nice. well. Then take note. Now we've got a nice tight low amount. This seems good. Right. Let's also deploy some of the pyromancies, right? Now, rather than going to the cliff underside, I'm heading actually back to the undead settlement and I'm gonna go down the other path for a moment. Let's give the let's give her a little fireball. Yes, hello, Mr. Giant Archer. I can hear you shooting your arrows all the way from over here. Ooh. Well, that is kind of nice, though. That is area of effect. Hey, rubbish. Okay. One shot enemies yet. That's the main downside. But you know. There we go. Back this way. Oh right! Yeah, I forgot about you, that there's a third one. Oh! Good thing he missed me. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Connection dropped. Oh, well, we got to test the pyromancy a little bit. It definitely hits harder than the soul arrow right now. 
but it's certainly not ideal yet. Yeah, if you're not specifically playing in offline mode, then the moment that you lose connection, it uh, ejects you. Now, let's see what actually happens. Does this make more noise, maybe? No, it doesn't particularly. Ow! Ooh, ow! Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't gnaw me, bitch! Ow! Oh shit, blood loss! Ow, 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 that hurt. Worker trousers. Okay, we are running the heck out of here. Yeah, um... <laughs> so that's what happens when the bleed bar fills up. You lose a lot of health. Clearing this guy out of here for a moment. Right then. Now we'll try fighting her again. We'll try flinging some fire at her. Very slowly sneak up on her. And then check fire. Oh shoot! Uh, throwing the third one was a mistake. Who? Oh! 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 Shit! I forgot about that. That's also a thing that she can do, which is setting herself on fire. Best way to start, but no. Ah! Oh, shoot! Getting chained. Certainly not ideal having only one Estus when the intent is that we keep going. You are near a bunch of exploding barrels. Yeah. Okay. So how about not that? There's another bloke over here. Oh. Ring around the everything. Got a worker hat. Right. Excuse me, sir. Coming through. Right. Oh, we got back an extra Estus drinky. Might as well do that drinky right now. Okay, that area, anything over here? Mostly just full of clutter. Okay, this area, definitely some of these cages are alive. I don't know which ones, but some of these are alive. One of these, what you? Yes. 
charcoal pine resin. I think that is something that you can put on your weapon to temporarily enchant it with fire. Be wary of enemy, aka you are going to get ambushed if you go down this staircase. Yeah, I want to... Be wary of enemy. Okay, one of these cages. Oh, that one. That one's alive. Ow! It's subtle, but you can see the difference between one that's alive and one that isn't. See, can we drop down into that room? Yeah. Some Esther soup. Ah, the Warrior of Sunlight. Now we can be, as you saw on Dump Soul Zero, we can be a Sunlight Bro. Oh, hey, and I took a ring off. I took that ring off. There we go. Oh, and the Fire Clutch ring. Because we now actually have Pyromancy. We can use that to boost our damage with the Pyromancy. Right then. So. Oh, you're... Oh! Shit! Hello! Ow! Nope! 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 Ah! Fudgy! Fudgers! Hotgates! Hotgates! Forgot about those two sneaky kids. Oh! Wow! Oh, come on! Let me swing! drink well we are in trouble I could go back to the bonfire like a complete wuss or could you say yeah fuck it eat fire yeah you're also real How did you interrupt my swing? Ah, uh, sure, I have a fireball. What? Are you throwing poo at me? Throwing poo at me. We're not that far from the no ambush ahead. Do you trust it though? Look carefully. Traveler. Yeah, there is an ambush. And we could just grab the bow.
right there. Wow. Not taking any damage at all. Is it too far away? Did I just shoot over that guy? Lady, you can't hit me from there. You are a nasty piece of work with that big hammer. Okay, come on. Can't I go back and drink some of the Estes soup? I think that's a thing I could do. Alright, there was Estes soup. We're quite heavy. Joe, was there Estes soup in this room? Oh, right. You can only have a single drinky from that. <laughs> right, well. Lady is annoying. Lady, your aim is off. I'm really close to a bonfire, so I might as well just pump her full of arrows. Motherfucker. Oh, come on! And... And we die there. Well... I don't know how I missed him twice there. <sighs> right, we're all the way back here. Um... <laughs> Switch that for the pyromancy flame. Right then. See how we're... Hey! Swing, swing, swing. There we go. Right. Worker hat. Yeah. That one dealt with. Right, there's another one somewhere here. There you are. Okay. 
That one's done. And we could run past all these yokels. The one downside is that anytime you run past a whole bunch of yokels, that means that you lose your ability to retreat. There's a lot of dudes here. Then again, because there is a lot of dudes here. Yeah, I, I don't want to, want to just. There we go. That's what I wanted to hit. You there. Can you bring some of your friends with us? here is relatively easy as long as we don't fuck up too much by targeting for example the wrong person or timing our swings wrong Yeah, most of these guys are just not a threat. Oh! I say that and then immediately get hit by one. Okay. Regardless, this gives us our lovely retreating room again. Being able to retreat is nice. I like being able to retreat. Right. Okay. That. Was there one guy left here? Nope. Okay, good. So we could go back that way. Or we could go over here for a second. We'll fight them Titanite Shard. Useful. This is that same... Yeah, okay, so this is a shortcut, but then we drop into that area. And right down there is a red-eye enemy. So I'd much rather still go through here. That does mean that we have more stuff to clear, unfortunately. But we'll make it safer for ourselves. Right. And there's an extra charge of Estus here again if we need it. Right. Dang it! What's 
with my internet connection today. going well. Right. Ah. Do we really need to snipe you down again, lady? Right, if we just stand here, she can't hit us. So then we're just going to snipe her down again. Uh, right. Yeah, you can waste all your all your magic powers as much as you want on me. Still not going to actually help you hit me. Yeah, can I stand? Yeah, I can stand here and be quite safe. Plenty of arrows. I can buy some more, particularly with the souls that I'm going to retrieve from the passage over there. As I can see the green glow. The green glow is where my souls are. Right, this last arrow will put the nail in the coffin. Pyromancy flame back. Are you coming? Oh yeah, wait. Guy with the hammer first. No? Alright. Got all y'all. Ah, and the whip! I mean, that's clearly something that we need to investigate, right? Again, for thematic reasons. Alicia is absolutely into whipping people. Almost the entire worker set. Let's see. Treasure ahead. Titanite shard. Good. More upgrade material. Right. We go up here somewhere. Because we killed that lady up there with a bow and arrow. Right, there's a blood stain here. Oh! Ah, crystal lizard. Okay, good to know, good to know. Reminder for later. Okay, I'm gonna assume that the person that the bloodstained person died from fighting this lady up here. Another titanite shard. Right then.
Not sure who arranged all these boxes with candles on them. Oh, oh, big guy. That one's a, a cult of personal nemesis. There's a bonfire. How do we get over there? Did I have to jump from over there, maybe? Ooh. That person's not coming over here, right? I'm I'm a little I'm a little scared of them. Right. I'm not gonna light the bonfire just yet. I'm gonna try... Actually, I am going to light the bonfire. I'm not gonna rest at the bonfire, though. I don't want all those enemies to respawn. We can't go through there. I think this is a one-way door from the other side. Yeah, other side. Well, we can open that one pretty quick, because that passage, it basically leads between the two bonfires. Uh -huh. Ignore me, ignore me, I am. You are not interested in me. Okay. Right then. Okay. Rusted coin. Okay, that's slightly less exciting than I was hoping for. Hmm. Anyway, well, we got from one bonfire to the next. Next time, I might indeed show you the connecting passage between the two bonfires and go investigate that graveyard area. For now, though. Just going to celebrate that we know some pyromancy. <laughs> it's been really helpful. Yeah. Right then. See you next time.